I envision a Zimbabwe where everyone is free, a democratic Zimbabwe, which is equal and just, where rule of law is upheld, because we have suffered enough because of the absence of rule of law in Zimbabwe, and uh, we've got legislators who are not even concerned about aligning the laws of the land with the, con con with the new constitution in Zimbabwe, which has been a major challenge for the citizenry in Zimbabwe and all human rights defenders who are trying to advocate for human rights um, to be upheld in Zimbabwe. So basically, um, our struggle is to fight for economic freedoms, to fight for political freedoms, and academic freedoms, because we're living in an oppressive and repressive state, and we feel that as the young generation, we have a generational mandate to ensure that there is transformation of leadership and usher in a new dispensation of youthful, young, democratic leaders who care about the welfare of Zimbabweans. What brought me to activism was the economic meltdown, the deterioration of standards in Zimbabwe per se. I was employed by the National Railways of Zimbabwe and we went for so many years with no salaries and we just expected to keep on going to work. And I realized that there was no way Zimbabwe was going to, to have sustainable growth. Instead, it was declining on a daily basis and that was not good for the Zimbabweans. So. Because naturally Zimbabweans live in a state of fear of their non, someone just had to come up and start speaking against these ills. Zimbabweans have been too silent for too long and they've all played a role to the current situation that we have in Zimbabwe. And I thought that I should stand up and try and motivate others for us to work together collectively to correct the ills that we naturally played a part in also creating. Because we are also part of the problem. But for us to be able to resolve the problem, we have to play an active role in ensuring that we have ushered in a new dispensation of leadership that will be accountable and responsible and responsive to the needs of the people of Zimbabwe. The traditional media has actually let us down as the social movements, considering that um, the state newspaper, the Herald, the Chronicle and all, um, have got biased reporting. They always report propaganda because they are state machinery for distributing propaganda. So naturally, um, the traditional media hasn't been writing about us. They only write when they want to smear campaigners or to discredit our efforts. So generally, we, print media hasn't been effective to the protests or amplifying the voice of the struggle for us, the social movements in Zimbabwe. And you'll find that we also have private media where journalists are afraid because they've often been arrested and most of them are compromised. Some of the newspapers do reporting for certain opposition political parties. So naturally, that bias in reporting is there. And uh, we really haven't relied on, on, on the traditional media as social media has been our best alternative. Um, social media has done it very well for us because we've been able to reach out to different people in different areas in a very short space of time. And we've been able to mobilize people to protest, to get our message out without people having been affected by the brutality of the state and all. So social media has actually worked perfectly for us and it has been very effective in our struggle in Zimbabwe. Activism is a passion, and it should be independent from political parties, because the main reason of activism is for us to hold leaders to account, whether they're in the opposition or they're in the ruling party. So the moment we want to have an inclination to a certain political party, the whole essence of activism loses its value, because the main reason of activism is to ensure that all human rights are dead to, constitutionalism is dead to, and that all Zimbabweans are living in a democratic space. Um, I would like to applaud Pastor Ivan because he effectively managed to use social media to gain momentum and to reach out to a lot of people, which is something that the grassroots um, uh, movements had not um, fully utilized. So in the long run, we ended up realizing that it was actually effective to use social media, and we also jumped on board and started using social media. And I think it was very important because now we have formed a coalition of all the social movements, and we're now working together with um, different um, social movements and their own constitution, plugging into the main uh, coalition of social movements so that we fight for one common cause, which is to remove the current regime of Robert Mugabe, which has brought so much suffering and economic quagmire to the citizenry of Zimbabwe.